first row. Still waiting for the cows to come in. Well, got a full second row, so we'll have to start up in those, right? And clean lip. So why I clean that off is because ah, the sun's bright because um, you get a lot of stones there and the cows will drag the stones in and off their feet so you get a bit of a build up and you can get a lot of crap in this area and it makes it very hard to wash the yard because we've got to push it all the crap from here all the way down that end to where the um, pump and the stone pit is. A fair way of pushing like an inch of crap so yeah so that's why we do that just feeding this girl here her silage uh, may sorry and come back with the silage afterwards and give it to her so it's just the leftovers from yesterday too late and there the girls are over there there's mom or nanny and so they're not too far from the couch today basically 100 meters See how the raceway is quite uh, tacky? Not too muddy, just a bit tacky, so it sticks to their feet and it goes all in the yard. And that's why I clean that lip off. So, yeah. Ready to go feed some cows now. I lifted the bonnet just to check to make sure that we don't have any birds nest. Leave it up just in case. We probably aren't nesting at the moment, but you never know. Better to check than get caught on fire. There's Nanny. And a load of maize. It's a good load today. Five runs. Five rows. All right, we're going to feed out now. Anybody that think you're hungry, girls? We've got some grass here too. Oh, well, as you can see, there's a cow shed behind there. That's all our old pig pens and chicken pen. We don't use it. So if anybody wants to know, we uh, grow all our maize on farm. And all of our silage that we're feeding out is also made on farm. Uh, all fed out. Happy as little cows walking around, trying to find the best parts of the silage. Must be a good bit there. Look at them all. <laughs> yep, locked away. Alright, time to go load up for tonight. Bail on the back, bail on the back. Yes. Well that is not a good sign. It's a bit full. But I've just gone down and checked the irrigator. We had slight block, must have a blockage, so this will blow that out of the pipe. Leave it go for about a minute or two, blow the blockage out and then we'll um we'll get the uh we'll get on the uh, put it back on and Get it running and yes, it's no good. Put it on the tank yesterday, flicked it back, and we had a blockage come through. So that's typical. That's typical. It's going down now, so that's a good sign. So this is the pump that pumps it to either the clip tank, which is that what we call that tank there, the clip tank, or to our irrigator, one of our two irrigators. And yeah, uh, also. Dad got it set up so at the time that clip tank actually drops back the gravity feed back to here so we can fill her up with the clip tank. 
and pump it. So rather than having two pumps, just got the one pump. Does all the work. Good. Oh yes, it's going down nicely. So I'll go down, hook that back up and go for breakfast. Yeah, now there's a blockage at the end of those pieces. So the irrigator wasn't go. Took the pieces off, got the blockage out, and down her up, she's working. Alright, start the pump up, make sure that wasn't the right blockage. There he goes. Spinning quite well. He's going all right. All right, it only only got the... Nice. Time for breakfast. 5.57, you've already seen it go. Yeah, just, going, just going to give the cows some salt in this little blue trough down here, just by the cows. There we are, salt's all done. You're quite surprised how much the cows like the salt. The girls are looking happy, all sitting down full. Yeah, happily shifting and taking them up the front paddock, just past the cow shed. It's a little paddock, it's only like half a hectare. They'll, they'll eat that quite nicely. So yeah, send them on their way. Come on. And just let the calves shift themselves off the stock bank and down to up the front. Set up a reel up, set up there so they'll be all right. I see they actually stopped talking and they're talking to the cows there. That's good. Spraying, it's a Bathurst burr. They have really long uh, thistles on them. They're real buggers. All right, I've got that one, sprayed that. So I'm just spraying thistles on the stock bank that the calves come out of. The thistles, they stop the grass and growing the calves don't like them. The cows don't like eating around them. I sprayed them. It's a blackberry. I sprayed them. Don't spray them. You can see there's quite a few blackberries and there's actually quite a bit of grass around them. I'm going to spray them around some old tip to grow and take over more of the stock there. Spray them before they even come. Too much of a hassle. Yes, they're a lot of buggers. Yeah, some of you may be asking what sort of spray we use. Well, on this bike, we have a spot spray. We've just got a um, glyphosate. So if we see any anything that we don't like, like a thistle or uh, yarrow or things that uh, it will have some cows, but the cows don't eat. Just give it a quick spray at the base of the plant. Bobo, run, Bobo, run! Hey, that's cheating! Run, Arrow! Oh, yeah. Get some daily exercise. Run, Arrow. Run. Just going to let them eat the grass in the circle. Saves me mowing it. They're slowly working their way into their paddock. Awesome. All right. I'm going to hypo the shed now. So I've filled up the little spray there, sprayer. That's going to spray the hypo. So we hope to get rid of all this. Uh, see it's how it's starting to get a little bit of a green tinge. We have a red tinge in there. Orange tinge there. So we're going to try to get rid of those. All right, we'll get to it. done so I'm just gonna go wash this up now and I'll go and see is that milking eh so that's gonna turn nice and nice and white now and hopefully stop the, the cows start getting a bit slippery here yeah, let's slip over okay sweet so we'll see you at milking there we go started milking first row friendly cow 129 eight, 129 <laughs> Oh, yes, you usually do. Good job. That's all right. All right. We'll continue milking. There you can see Nanny out there. There you, Nanny. There she is. <laughs> all right. Good to it. There's another successful milking. It's been a beautiful day today. Clear skies all day. Nice and sunny, so that rain will go through nicely. Total of 18 mils that rain in there, but I don't think I've told you. It's not too bad. We've got bale on the front, bale on the back. There we are, bale on the front and bale on the back. 
and a bar waiting for us in the paddock. So just feeding out now. Cow's giving this paddock already the short back inside, so that's good. They'll nail the rest of this tonight. All eating well. See you all tomorrow. Like and subscribe. See you in the morning.